Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 83 of chapter 6. Determine the force in members FD and DB of the frame. Also find the horizontal and vertical components of reaction the pin at C exerts on member ABC and member EDC. So first we need to identify the two force members. Looking at the problem, we can see that member FD and member BD are two force members because they have forces only applied at two points where they are pinned. So that simplifies the problem for us. If we know there are two force members, that means that they are either in tension or compression and the two forces at each end would be the same. We want to draw exploded free body diagram. Exploded free body diagram means free body diagram of all members and labeling all the forces uh, that are interacting between the free body diagrams. So here we have uh, five members. I have drawn five members. Now we are going to go and uh, draw the forces. So at point E, I have EX and EY. I have the reactions here would be the opposite direction, EX and EY. My member FD is a two force member. So if I assume it's in compression, I can find the direction of forces here. Similarly for member BD, I can assume it's in compression. So find the direction of forces on other members. At point G, I have a six kilonewton. Uh, this distance is one meter. This distance is two meter. Here at point C, I have Cx and Cy. And then I have the reactions here, but they are not necessarily the same because I have external forces at this point. So the two reactions are not necessarily going to be the same. So I'm going to call it C prime X and C prime Y. And here I have a reaction from A, A, Y. Be because when we are going to put the members together, the external forces needs to go away. So if I put these two members together, the EX and EY will go away. Here is the same. Here the internal forces would go away if I add them together. But here at point C, if I add these together, the, exter the internal forces should result in an external force because we have an external force acting on our specimen. To better demonstrate that, let's draw a free body diagram of our roller C here and see what's happening here. I have Cx and Cy, or that would be the opposite. So here would be C prime X and C prime Y. And I have here Cx and Cy. And I have an external load being applied by the ground to our wheel. And I'm going to call that external ground Fc. So you can see from this free body diagram that Cx and C prime X has to be the same. But C prime Y and C Y are not going to be the same because we have an external force being applied on that joint. So that's the trick of the problem. They are not going to be the same and they have to be found independently. So let's go and then look at each free body diagram to come up with our uh, plan of action. So here we have F, F D. Here forces are FFD, here are FBD, and here FBD. So looking at the top free body diagram, I can see I only have three unknowns. So I can solve the problem. I have two unknowns at E, and I have one unknown at point F. So I can find all the forces. Then I move to my next free body diagram, and then finally the last. So that's the order that I'm going to follow. So let's analyze this free body diagram here. I'm going to draw it here. So when I'm developing my equation, I can look at it. So we have 
for 6 kN here EX and EY I have fourth F FD acting here which is 2 1 the square root of 5 this distance is 1 meter and this distance is 2 meter if I write a moment equation about point E the only unknown would be FFD so summation of moment about point E equals 0 counterclockwise to be positive that's 6 kN is creating a clockwise moment so it would be negative moment arm would be 3 FFD has a horizontal component and a vertical component. Horizontal component is not going to create any moment. Only the vertical component is creating a moment. So 2 over square root of 5 would be the vertical component. Moment arm would be 1 equals 0. Therefore, I can find F, FD, which would be 9 square root of 5 kilonewton. I'm going to keep it at 9 square root of 5 because that simplifies my further equation. And it would be more accurate. I don't need to carry the decimal point. So now that I have FFD, I can write summation of forces in x equals 0 and find EX. FFD is creating, it's having a component and that's the only force that has a component in x. Therefore, you can see if I replace FFD here, 9 square root of 5, I have square root of 5 here, so that simplifies my equation. So EX is 9 kN. So the direction that I, we assume is correct. Summation of forces in y equals 0. Therefore, ey would be minus 6 minus ffd here. We are interested in the vertical component. So 2 over square root of 5, ey would be negative 12 kN. We found a negative value. That means the direction we assume is incorrect. But we are not going to go ahead and change our direction. We keep it as it is. Now we found three of our unknowns. We're going to move to the second free body diagram. So I'm going to draw the second body diagram here so we can write our equations. So we have EX, EY, we have force F, FD, which is the dimension is 2, 1, a square root of 5 triangle. And here we have FBD, 1, 1, a square root of 2, and CX and CY. So I already found the value for EX, EY, FBD. So the, my unknowns are CY, CX, and FBD. So if I write the moment equation of our point C, I get rid of two of the unknowns, and the only unknown would be FPD, and I find that unknown. So summation of moment about point C equals zero. Therefore, I have EX that creating a counterclockwise moment. Moment arm is three. FFD, the horizontal component is creating a moment. So one over a square root of five, the moment arm is one and the clockwise so it's negative then i have my fourth spd that i don't know the value the horizontal component is going to create a moment moment arm one i find spd to be 18 square root of two kN. i have the value of ffd that would be nine square root of five and ex is 9. Now that I have FPD, I can write summation of forces in X and find CX. So I have CX here, FPD is creating a, is having a horizontal component, so 1 over the square root of 2, F, FD, if I want to find the horizontal component, 1 over the square root of 5, and also EX equal 0. Therefore, Cx would be negative 18 kN. The other alternative for finding Cx would be if I draw the moment equation, write the moment equation of point D. All the forces would go away except Cx and Ex. And it would have been a simpler equation, so let's write it as an alternative 
equation. We don't have to write summation of forces. We can write multiple moment equation. Ex was creating a clockwise moment. Cx was also creating a clockwise moment. So Cx would have been 18 kilonewton. So that's an alternative equation we could use instead of writing summation of forces in x. If I write summation of forces in y, therefore I have negative ey f f d creating a negative component in y direction. 2 over the square root of 5 will give me the horizontal component. f b d 1 over the square root of 2 plus c y equals 0, therefore cy is negative 12 kilonewton. So I found cx and cy, and then as we discussed, cx and cy are not the same, are not necessarily the same for the other component. Now I need to go and draw the last free by diagram of that member. So here, free by diagram of member abc. So I have ay. That the problem is not asking for 1 1 square root of 2 f b d we already found the value here we have c prime y and c prime x i use prime because the two are not the same c x and c y are not the same as c prime x and c prime y because you have an external load being applied on that joint so I'm going to write a moment equation on point A because I'm not interested in finding the value for uh, A, summation of moment about point A. I get rid of one of the unknown. So I can and I also get rid of C prime X. So I only have C prime Y as unknown. C prime Y is creating a negative moment. So negative C prime Y. I don't know the magnitude. The moment arm is 3 meter, 2 plus 1. FBD. The horizontal component is not creating a moment. The vertical component is creating a moment. So the vertical component would be 1 over the square root of 2. And the moment arm would be 2 equals 0. Therefore, C prime Y would be negative 12 kilonewtons. So we can see C Y and C prime Y are the same. But they're not always the same. In this particular problem, they are the same. Because there is 0... Uh, reaction force at point C. According to the structure, there is zero reaction force being applied. If you draw the free body diagram of the whole frame, you can see that the FC would be zero. That's why the two are the same. But generally, if we had an external load, they would not have been the same. And now we can write summation of forces in x equals zero, therefore negative C prime x minus FPD. 1 over the square root of 2 equal 0. Therefore, C prime x would be negative 18 kN. And C prime x is the same as Cx. We, that's something that we, we knew because the external load that's being applied on that joint is not towards x. It's towards y. So it's, it's fine. So we don't have to find the value for a y. The problem is not asking for but I'm going to find it because we can prove that y, the two c values are the same. So a y minus c prime y minus f b d 1 over the square root of 2 equals 0. Therefore, a y is 6 kN. Okay, let's see what that means. So if it's 6 kN, if you look at our problem, uh, we can see that we have 6 kN here, and if Ay is 6 kN, that means that Fc here being applied is has to be 0. If we draw the free body diagram of the total frame, I have 6 kN here, I have 6 kN here, then Fc would be 0. And because Fc is 0, that's why we see Cy and C prime Y are the same. But in general, if you have a joint, that you have an external load being applied to it, the forces that the pin acts on the two member are not going to be the same. So perhaps the most important part of the problem is uh, drawing the exploded free body diagram. If you draw a good exploded free body diagram, then you can look on the problem and see how many knowns and unknown value you have and proceed based on the free body diagram with only three 
unknowns.